What is up guys, welcome to another video. Another video means another dopamine high because I had to buy something to feel something and today we are taking a look at another NECA product. But before we get into that, just I know we've been doing a lot of NECA stuff and I know there's people here on this channel who are here for the Halo and Star Wars content as well. As for the Star Wars stuff, stuff is being shipped out coming to my house so we will get some Star Wars videos soon. As for the Halo stuff, there's not really much being announced wave 7 of the spartan collection if that's even happening hasn't been announced or leaked yet and as for the world of halo stuff i don't really collect that or kind of review it really but um there's one thing that has piqued my interest so once i obtain that i will make a video on that but uh that's just an update on the Halo and Star Wars side of things. Going back to the NECA side of things, today we are taking a look at NECA's Stalker from the Predator 2 line that they're doing. Uh, obviously, he is a member of the Lost Tribe, and you know this is usually where I would transition to the lore segment, but not much is known about Stalker. He has the nickname of Baby Boar or Brother Boar, assuming that he has some blood ties to the Boar Predator or Boar. Uh, I don't know if he's called Boar Predator or not, um, but... Yeah, there's not much known about him except for those nicknames. Everything else that we know about him is what we saw in all of two minutes of his screen time in Predator 2. So with all that said, let's jump into the review and take a look at the figure. So opening up the box, we can see some smexy art of Stalker. And then at the bottom, we have the Predator 2 logo with the title of what we are reviewing. And then looking at the side of the box, another Predator 2 logo with, yet again, the title of who we are reviewing and at the back we have a brief description of stalker with some photos of him and the lost tribe on the side so a lot of good stuff on the back opening up the box we can see a nice big picture of stalker and then of course the stalker figure with all the goodies included so with all that you know seen there you know opening up the box itself getting a look at first impressions just visuals of the figure things are looking promising as usual so with all that said let's get a look at the boy starting off with articulation in the head region of the figure as per usual you can rotate his head 360 degrees and then of course you can tilt his head up and down but if you bring it up too far up or too far down you can have the head pop off but don't worry obviously they're swappable heads with the predator 2 figure so it's not the end of the world if their head comes off just pop that shit back on and then of course you can tilt his head side to side all the usual predator articulation is there so it's always good to see that and then taking a look at the arms you can open up his arms a decent amount and rotate them 360 degrees as per usual at this point and then going to the biceps you can rotate those 360 degrees another staple in predator arm articulation and then of course at the elbows we have a decent range of motion we can bring his forearms up a very good amount as another staple of predator arm articulation i don't think we've had a predator who can't bring his forearms up a decent amount and then going to the hands same you know principle with all our xenomorph and predator figures rotate them 360 degrees and bend the wrists however you want so good arm articulation on this boy then getting to the torso things are looking a little stiff here obviously you can rotate it 360 degrees and kind of you know move him back and forth and not really do a crunch but just kind of you know lean back and forth i wish that we can get him to do a little bit more of a crunch and then we can kind of get a kind of pivot with a wobble out of him wish it was just a little bit more i do like torso articulation i am a big stickler for that so just wish there was a little bit more movement in the torso area and finally taking a look at the legs you can bring them up all the way so if you want them to sit down you can do that and then we can get a 95 percent of a split usually what holds back the full split is the smart disc holster or the um clothing around his waist but he can achieve a pretty good uh split and then you can rotate his legs 360 degrees as per usual and then going down to the knees we can almost get a full butt kick just like another with the splits you know 95 percent there but not quite but still pretty good range of motion not complaining at all and then going down to the feet same principle with the hands you rotate them 360 degrees and pivot and you know bend them anywhere as you want because they're on a ball joint so 
very good to see very happy with this range of motion in the leg area so very good and overall articulation is good with this boy and moving over to accessories and features starting off with swappable body parts starting off with the head of course the default head he comes out is him wearing his bio mask but you can swap that out for a head with no bio mask and just you know you got to push it on real tight and then after that it will pop on easy every other time you try putting it on but you know comes with an optional head with no bio mask and he is looking awfully fugly so despite having a face only a mother could love i think the color scheme for him is very cool it's like a tiger if the tiger was also the color of an orange cream pop i don't know it's just it's a very different color scheme we've seen from most predators and i think it's very cool and i actually dig it and of course neca did a really good job with the little bumps and wrinkles in his skin and they even got his eyeballs even though you have to angle his face the right way to even see them so over Overall, I think his face looks very cool. And then of course, the only other swappable body parts he comes with are his hands. He has his two open hands by default. Then he has three holding hands. Two of them are, you know, closed a lot tighter and yet they can still hold things. And then, you know, he has his in-between of an opening and closing hand that is made for more bigger objects. And then getting into attachable gadgets, starting off with this one wrist weapon. He doesn't come with any gauntlets like wrist blades or the self-destruction device, but he does come with this weapon that goes on his wrist. And I've looked up everything I could. I don't know what this is called. It looks like some kind of plasma cast or some kind of just projectile weapon that goes on his wrist. If you know what it is down below, please let me know. I would like to further my knowledge on this because... I looked at the Xenopedia page for Stalker and they, there is no mention of this device. So I, I have no idea what this is. So if you do, please, you know, enlighten me. It'd be awesome. But I think NECA did a good job at whatever this is. It looks like a weapon that a predator would use. It looks cool. All the weathering, all the little details they got. And obviously you would just equip this by popping it on his wrist and it fits on nice and snug. So yeah i don't know what this is called but it's pretty cool and i like it and then we have his plasma caster which actually you do have to put together but it's just putting a peg in a peg hole so it's nothing crazy and this is a very unique looking plasma caster i don't think i've ever seen one look like this and with its movability you can move it side to side you can rotate it 360 degrees and you can also push it back and forth or bend it back and forth so you can put it in this like deactivated mode or just this neutral state and then once you have it all put together and folded up well you don't need to have it folded up to you know put it on his back but once you know you have it all assembled you can literally plug it onto his armor and it's actually on the opposite side that most plasma casters are on which i found very interesting but this thing once it is on it is on it's very sturdy it doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere so i think that's really cool that they made a very simple way of attaching it to his body without it feeling like it's going to come off very easily because i know some plasma casters fall off very easily so very nice to have a very well secured plasma caster with our boy and of course we cannot forget the blast effect that is included it is pretty much the same one that we got with the jungle hunter and you know you just put it on the gun by plugging it in the peg in the peg hole and there it is easy as that and it looks very cool i really like that we get these with our predators and then moving over to his handheld accessories here we have the combi stick collapsed and you know it's just the normal sculpt that we see with all combi sticks but a different color scheme that i actually really like i prefer this one more over the ones that we have been seeing but overall it's just a collapsed combi stick i think NECA did a good job with the sculpting painting all that jazz so yeah and then here we have the combi stick all extended and i really like this color scheme with the brass on black it's just a color scheme that i really like and just dig so I think this is my favorite combi stick out of all the ones that we've gotten so far. And of course, there's, you know, all the little details we've seen before. But there's these little three buttons that I don't recall seeing on any previous combi sticks. And I didn't even catch this on the collapsed version. So I think it's a little cool detail, even though I've never noticed it before. And then putting the combi stick next to our boy, it is taller than him. And yeah, even though we've seen these a handful of times already, I think that this is a very cool looking combi stick. Probably because I really dig its color scheme. And for our next weapon, we have the smart disc. Here it is, kind of collapsed, looking really good with the shine and the weathering and all the little details that NECA got, but what's new? And then here is the smart disc extended. We can see the wires in the middle now, still looking as good as the collapsed version. But yeah, you get a smart disc with your stalker. And for our last accessory, we do get a skull, no skull and spine, just a skull this time. And 
there's not really much to say it looks good the little you know weathering and paint job is really nice and all the little details and cracks they got is cool but yeah you get a skull and so yeah that is everything included let's get into some size comparisons to put this boy into scale and first off we have the aliens drone then we have Jazzwares Halo the Spartan Collection Spartan Gunganeer, Jazzwares World of Halo Halo Infinite Master Chief, Hasbro Star Wars The Black Series Commander Bly, and finally we have McFarlane's The Doom Slayer. And with articulation, accessories, features, and size comparisons out of the way, we are at the turntable segment of the video. This is where I go over what I like, dislike, just opinions on the figure, and then all of you are more than welcome to go down into the comment section below and branch off of what I say, create a discussion, agree, disagree, all that good stuff. I like talking about this stuff, and I'm probably going to respond to your comments because, like I said, I like talking about this stuff. So, starting off, let's get into what I dislike about this figure to get that sour stuff out of the way. And honestly, there's only one issue I do have with this figure, and that's the limited movement in the torso area. Now, I will not be a complete bitch and not recognize the fact that at least we do have some movement in the torso area, unlike the Jazzwear Spartan Collection figures that have pretty much none. So I am thankful that there is some you know range of movement there. I just kind of wish there was a little bit more because, you know predators they're very agile they're very on their feet and i just kind of wish he can do a little bit more of a crunch for some more dynamic and cool poses because you know i really you know care about the poses i put in the turntable segments of the video and also i would like to display my predator doing something cool but that's pretty much my only issue with this figure just kind of wish there was a little bit more range of motion in the torso area but i am thankful that at least there is some kind of movement there, unlike the Spartan Collection figures. And then getting into things I do like about this figure, and before I go off on my usual NECA praise, there are some things that are different that I do like about this figure, starting off with the fact that he doesn't come with gauntlets. This might be like a con or just something that you may not like about this figure personally, but I personally do like the fact he doesn't come with gauntlets. It's something refreshing, new, uh, just changes things up. It's... It shows that all Predators don't need, want, or wear gauntlets. It's just, you know, like I said, something new, something refreshing that I think is really interesting. And I still like how we get some kind of wrist device anyways. So that's there's that for those who do wish he came with gauntlets. And then another thing that really sticks out to me that I really like is his pigment. It's a very new or different color scheme that I've seen. I know Alpha Predator was, like, albino essentially, but, like, this guy, he strays away from that kind of yellowish tan and you know black polka dot like uh, color scheme slash aesthetic he has like this orange creamsicle kind of color going on with you know a unique pattern on his head and back so I think that's just something that you know that change of design I really like it's just something that sticks out to me personally and then of course there's my usual NECA praise where I really like the visuals of this guy they did a really phenomenal job with the paint job the multiple colors and how they transition into each other on his skin the weathering on his armor and just the on his leather parts as well just and of course there's the net someone had to paint that the net on the figure so you know kudos to NECA for doing that as well just there's a lot of things done with the paint job that I really like and then of course there's the combi stick with the brass and the black and just everything overall is just visually beautiful when it comes to the paint job and of course there's the sculpt all the little details NECA gets like I, you've seen throughout the accessories portion of the video just all the little nooks and crannies and then when you look at his armor there's all the little cracks and dents and just all the little plates of uh, metal on his armor is just all the little things they get is just it's phenomenal and that's why I will always be praising NECA figures and then of course there is the feel of the figure despite the limited range of motion in the torso area his head legs arms just the range of motion in those body parts are phenomenal he can do a lot of poses with those body parts like I said though wish there was better torso articulation so we can get even more cooler poses but very happy with the range of motion throughout the rest of his body and then all the goodies that are included that is one thing I also really like about these figures is the amount of accessories they come with we get multiple versions of the accessories so if you want them to be posed with a collapse or extended version of his weapons we get a blast effect we get swappable parts it's just the amount of goodies that we get is just 
also something that I will always praise these figures for, at least the Predators. The Xenomorph figures either lower the prices or give them accessories. And yeah, I think that's all I really have to say about this figure. I, Besides the one issue with the torso articulation, I think that this is a very refreshing figure with his design. And, uh, you know, obviously the usual neck of praise of looking good, feeling good for the most part, and then having a bunch of goodies. So, do I recommend this figure? Always, if you love collecting, you know, Predator figures, and if you're now taking interest in the Lost Tribe, he's one of the members, so of course you gotta get him. But if you just want a cool-looking Predator, this guy is also on my recommendation list. So, yeah, with all that said, let's move out to the outro. And that is that. We are at the outro portion of the video. If you did like this video, a like and subscription would be awesome. You don't have to comment because that's a lot of effort. I do get it. But if you do want to branch off anything I said in the video, agree, disagree, stuff like that, I love talking about this stuff. So more than welcome to comment and I will probably respond to you because I like to talk about this stuff. I've already said that. But yeah, and don't worry about the bell because that shit is broken. Don't worry about it. And if you do like more content like this, I got plenty of it on the channel. Right now, I'm kind of going through this really big NECA phase because there is a drought of Halo, you know, stuff and Star Wars stuff. At least in my opinion, there's nothing really Black Series related I want to review. But I, like I did mention in the intro of the video, some stuff is coming in. So there's that. And then Halo stuff, like I also said in the beginning of the video, nothing's really piquing my interest except for one thing. And when I get that, of course, I will review it and put a video out about that. But right now, there's just kind of a drought for the other things I do review. But like I said, stuff's coming in eventually. So, you no, know, just just wait because I do review Halo and Star Wars stuff. And I know I have some subscribers who are here for that rather than the NECA stuff. So, like I said, I got a bunch of stuff on the channel. Star Wars, Halo, NECA. So, go check that all out. And I will see you all later. Stay hydrated because if you don't, I will kill you.